Hi everyone. Um, you're like, really? Again? Yep. Again. This is going to seem very weird for those of you that are new. Please go look at my other readings because this is going to be a little strange for you. <laughs> this is going to be a continuation to the last one. I already got the message, but you're going to think this is the weirdest thing ever. I'm in the middle of editing personals recording them i i record them in batches back to back and then i email them and i already told you guys that if you booked before the calendar system that i have now you're getting it this week so please no need to start asking in the comments i'm gonna be honest i love you guys but that kind of bugs me because i already mentioned that you're getting it this week okay um and i want the comments just to be a place of love for you guys to talk to each other and whatnot um, unless obviously it's an emergency and you're like not getting any information from me whatsoever, that's different, okay? Anyway, I'm not even gonna say anything, I'm just gonna shovel. This is gonna be, <laughs> I'm just, I, I can't with them. <laughs> Look at what just flew out. Ace of Swords. <laughs> They want me to pull one card from like all my favorite decks. Okay. Oh, just split the deck. I'm not even going to pull it out. Love, no love, and union. I mean, could they at least help me with the shuffling? You would think I'd be an expert at this point. Oh, just split the deck again. Oh, the page of swords. Communication. Let's see here. Just split the deck. Oh, is that the Ten of Cups? Sure, no problem, but I'm not going to pull it. My shuffling is not on point today. It's okay. It's not what's important. Sorry if it seems I shuffle more for some of them than others. I, I can't stop until they tell me to stop because they want it to come out the way they want it to come out. Like this. <laughs> Communication. I knew it. I mean, like I'm like, what do they want me to do? They said, don't talk. Just do this. Because some people are still battling that freaking design. I am so weird, honestly, guys. I don't know what to do with myself sometimes. I really don't. Fine, let's do this one the regular way. Let's split three times. One, two, three. Pick the middle pile. So it doesn't look all funky, but I always do it. Oh, the High Priestess, yep. If it's not just the... Uh, same cards from the um, last two readings. One more. Oh, what is it? Oh, the Eight of Cups. What are we walking away from? Oh, Three of Cups. Walking away from a third party situation. High Priestess, you know it. That's not the same message that I've been getting over and over again. Hmm. <laughs> I am such a freaking creep. I don't get it. When I say creep, it's just my way of being playful with myself. I don't particularly mean that. Like, you know, some people are comment on, well, you're not weird. I'm like, I know I'm not weird, but I'm weird. This is fucking weird. This that's going on right now, it's weird. Like, I'm, I'm really not even at all. But so far, we got all of the cards that we got in the last two readings. Someone needs to get out of that Nine of Swords energy. If we get the Nine of Swords, I'm like literally walking away. Like, see you guys next year. What pile do I like? I like these two. Wow, okay. I guess they want two. Five of Cups, Sadness, Two of Swords. And these two again. Seven of cups. <laughs> Just 
justice. <laughs> Wait, and then look what's at the top here. The universe card. That's what we're going to end with. The universe card. The world card. Next to the justice card. Yep. So what they just uh, had me do right now, very quickly, just to show you guys that I am capable of uh, short readings. Most of the times my readings are long is because I'm a medium, so they have me channel, speak to you guys, and then the cards are really for confirmation of what comes out of my mouth, but this time I'm like, I'm not going to do any of that. Ta-da! Here it is again. Confirming the last two readings. If you did not hear it, please go hear it. Someone's receiving communication. ASAP. Page of Swords is a text message. Page of Swords is communication. Okay? Someone has been spying on you, looking at you for whatever. This is communication. Okay? Offering a brand new beginning, Ace of Pentacles, something stable. Okay? A reconciliation of some sort, an apology. Eight of Wands again. Very quick communication. This is now, like I said in my last reading, and we got this card last reading to signify that too. We said in the reading before that, and we got it last reading also, the High Priestess is psychic insight. You know that this is happening. So if you felt inside High Priestess in your intuition that resonated for you, okay, resonated with you, they are reminding you to let go of the anxiety and fear. It is freaking happening. And then they gave you a little backstory of what happened and what this communication is about. What is this communication about? The fact that Eight of Cups, somebody walked away after having a third party, Three of Cups, third party situation, which ended up Five of Cups causing sadness instead. Two of Swords, Lord of Peace restored. They want to restore the peace after, okay? A period of Lord of Illusionary Success, it says, okay? A period of being with a third party that ended up actually just being an illusion full of confusion okay and they are bringing justice to the situation the world card is this whole BS done start of a new cycle a new beginning new beginnings aces twice this is straight-up communication um, high priestess are you still doubting it I'm just I just wanted to put that out there all right, so let's pull some cards from Mystic Moon from this person. Just two, and that's it. Short and sweet. I have so much more to... I'm working on all these personals. I gotta get to it. What just flew out here? <laughs> You're all I've ever wanted. <laughs> what else is this communication about? Let's split this. Oh my God. <laughs> the same card we got yesterday what else do you need i can't take this anymore two more archangel michael okay fine you are never far from my mind i mean obviously it all comes down to timing which means Not to focus on what happened when this person walked away, three of cups, third party situations, all the sadness and stuff, all the illusionary BS that you went through. Why? Because it's time to end this cycle. Bring justice. Because timing is timing. Somebody, it wasn't the right time for somebody to be the right person. And same for you. Okay? That's the reality. That's the reality. That's the reality. And last one, what's this? No, that was weird. Hold on. I don't know what's going on with me. Hold on. Sorry. I said one. Like this. I'm still haunted by my actions. There are still so many things left 
there are still so many unsaid things between us. Exactly. So that to me is just confirmation of what I said. Okay. This person's still haunted by their actions. A lot of things have been left unsaid between you guys, but they can't take it anymore. And it all comes down to timing. We already explained that, but you're all they've ever, you've ever, you are all they've ever wanted and you're never far from their mind. Okay, so these two cards are very significant because that's where the anxiety kicks in. The feelings of inadequacy, feeling haunted by their actions, how they treated you, all the things that they did not tell you, all the lies, all the things you don't know, but you do know because you're the high priestess. But there's more to it, trust me. Okay, so with that being said, go back to the last reading I just posted and hear what I said about the anxiety because these two aspects are still there you will be brought backwards in your timeline you will prolong this don't miss the opportunity if you give in to these anxious energies okay let's get a card from my beautiful loving archangel michael and then we're going to go ahead and move on because this wasn't even supposed to be a reading and i didn't even talk and you saw i'm doing this for you you know why I mean, I am going to go on a schedule to post very regularly, but this, especially when I'm catching up with all these personal readings that I have to uh, send out by this week, I mean, guaranteed, I'm taking some time regardless because, because this is significant. This is significant. And I don't want to see anybody go backwards. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. Oh my God. If there is a masculine energy watching this that's haunted by their actions. <laughs> wow. That's for them. And this is also for you. It's all about forgiveness. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others. Oh my God releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others thank you archangel michael for allowing me to feel centered and at peace that's pretty much wow my my right my right ear that sums it up right there releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others one more archangel michael and we gotta go so i can get back to these readings i'm telling you the personals i'm doing right now are on fire like on fire I, I i'm still saying that it's a freaking moldavite <laughs> that moldavite when i first got it caused me hell i don't i'm not recommended recommending right now for anyone to go out and buy a piece of moldavite google it research it what it does first because it brought me during that whole hardship all the things all the difficult times that i went through i got that moldavite it brings out every toxic piece of you out all at once. It'll make you angry, go crazy, depressed. It'll do everything. But then out of nowhere, when it's cleared, it's like, <gasps> whoa. But you have to be prepared for what it does. Look into it. Multiply. It's a tectite. Uh, it came from a meteorite that struck it's a lot of um, historical, biblical stories that even mention Moldavite. It's very special. It's only found in uh, the, Czech the Czechoslovakia. Take time making this decision. Keep your eyes on the targeted intention. Exactly. Just a reminder of what I said yesterday. This is not Disney World. This is not like someone's coming. You're going to elope. Stay grounded. If you do get Moldavite, get something grounding like obsidian or hematite. This is hematite. I have obsidian too, but I can't. Obsidian doesn't work well with me. Obsidian makes me feel like ass. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I don't like obsidian. Just don't. Another good stone. I don't know why I'm talking about stones, but... Maybe I should start posting that on my community. You know, I'm going to start doing that for you guys. Posting it on the community posts, like good combinations of crystals and things. I mean, the power in crystals are amazing and healing. You can do so much with it. I mean, it has 
it has power. Um, the same power that it took to make it, to, for it to be created. This is a Labradorite. Again, amazing. And you know what the power of the divine is? I didn't even know what these crystals did. I never went through a book to look for it. And I was like, guide me to a crystal. Took it, felt it, bought it. And then I go home and research it. And it always matches exactly what I need. Okay? Health issues that I have and stuff that it works for happen to go hand in hand with Labradorite. I was like, wow, that happens all the time. Anyway. Take your time making this decision. Don't be hasty. Like I said, only focus on receptivity, being receptive, being positive. Starting as a friendship, I already told you where it's going to end. Keep your eyes on the target and intention. Not on, not on anxiety. Not on the past. I said that the last reading too. Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relax. <laughs> please help me stay strong and relax. As I approach the situation, remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. You can't make it up. Keep your eyes on the target intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. Can you make it up? No. Okay. Now, what is going to be the outcome, though? You tell me. I already know. Listen, I, I'm so confident in the divine, and that's why. <laughs> that I don't care if I embarrass myself. I'm like, what is going to be the action? Like, imagine all this stuff comes out, and it's like three of swords. But I know that's not what's going to come out. What's at the top? Seven of swords in reverse. What else do you need? Ten of pentacles, seven of swords in reverse. No more deception, okay? No more deception. Deception is gone. Gone. Lord of unstable effort. Gone. Thing of the past. Why? Because now you have the Ten of Pentacles, which I called last reading. Lord of wealth. Okay? Stability. Happy home. Together. I feel like you're even financially, everything's just going to come together when you guys come together because your energy together is just that. And let's do another one. Why not? King of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Can you make it up? No. And they are emphasizing for you so that you are not confused, honey. Six of Cups is rekindling, which is the title of my last reading. Six of Cups is pleasure, happiness. Six of Cups is somebody from the past. So this King of Pentacles, it's offering a pentacle. King of Pentacles is rooted, stable, committed. He's not BSing over here, okay? Got his shit together, or at least trying to get his shit together, or her, with you. And they are confirming to you, no, this isn't someone new, this is somebody from the past. Six of Cups, returning to reconcile, reconciliation. And that's going to end up at the Ten of Pentacles, union happiness. Forever and beyond. Okay? All right. Well, I don't know why they want one of these. <laughs> Loud and clear. And then we're done. Superhero. A brand spanking you. <laughs> you know who's a superhero? Archangel Michael. <laughs> I love it. And I just split. I freaking love it. Oh my God. And look what's at the bottom. Hotline hotline, phone call, magnanimous me, someone being forgiving, despite, despite hardship, okay? Hotline is also, that this card signifies being able to contact the divine Archangel Michael whenever you need help. Don't forget to just call upon him. He is your superhero. He's your superhero. This to me means that this has all been divine intervention. That's it. Archangel Michael, I told you last reading, was not dealing with this shit anymore. You're starting brand spanking new. And it's time to be magnanimous me. Meaning, you don't know what that word means. Forgiving, dis despite any negativity. But, take your time. 
because that doesn't mean that you have to all of a sudden accept everyone's every hurt that they've ever done to you things still need to be spoken trust still needs to be built you still need to use discernment and let people prove things and what you know what not enough readers say this but you need to prove shit too because i'm sick of feminines out here thinking like they don't have anything to heal uh yes you do they you guys mirror each other they wouldn't be in that position if it wasn't for you either straight up okay call so this to me right here is just saying don't forget to be forgiving you're ready for a brand new beginning ace ace communication stability communication okay and this is just archangel michael saying hey if you're still having trouble with this anxiety Call me up. Call me up. I'm your dude. All right? Love and light. Can't believe I'm posting this often, but this is really freaking happening, guys. It's really freaking happening. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Love and light.